felt like a, a world that I didn't know about, but I, I wanted to. The originality of the, of the screenplay is very appealing. You brokered the deal? Yeah. Brian's written so many insane movies. He's one of the best writers around. The script itself, I think it's filled with strong characters who, who feel very real. As soon as I started, I couldn't put it down. It's so rare that you do a film where the director has lived the life that you're representing. It's your honor, Ray! Yeah! I'm from a family of fishermen. My grandfather was a fisherman, my great uncle, my dad. When I got out of college, I started fishing. I ended up doing it for about a year and a half before I found out that you could learn how to make movies. My first day in New Bedford, Brian drove me around and he showed me, oh, this is the street that I grew up on and this is where Mabel grew up. Every character in the movie, I can tell you exactly who they were in real life. Most of the people in New Bedford are from there. They grew up there. And there's this real sense of, you know, everybody's known everybody forever. Hey, Mabel! Where are you going? I fished with guys that had difficult relationships with their dads. I don't want to tangle with you right now. Tom. I don't want to tangle with you, Ray. I think it's about how difficult it is sometimes for people to say that they love each other, especially men. I never should have trusted you. I do not understand the way you're built. You built me. Well, Mabel here says you guys are one time, and but if this works out. Finest Kind is a family drama disguised as a crime thriller. The crime element of the movie puts everyone in a crucible and forces all these things to come to a head. There's no place to hide, really, so we get to see all that. What happens if we get caught? Getting caught is not an option. Action. Brian, I think, is probably the most respectful director I've ever worked with. He's incredibly collaborative. He's also such a sweetheart. He has chosen, I think, wisely to um, let these scenes be discovered by actors as they play them. He really doesn't mind coming on set and playing with some of the words or sentences or going for improv or, you know, switching things around. So he's just like a joy to work with. Brian has a very gentle management style. He gets everything that he needs and he's very clear about what he wants, but he's just a very kind guy. Thank you, everyone. I couldn't have done without you guys. Finest Kind is all about the sacrifices that you'll make for the ones you love. Tommy, please. You yeah, okay, Pop? And how we try to find our way together. Brian has found a way to deal with that uh, in an original way. Brian happens to be someone who comes with the life experience, as well as the economy and poetry of language and understanding of narrative of the human heart. So of course you want to sit up straight, listen. You live, you die, it's the in-between that counts.